Hey, what's good, everybody? And welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.V. And Big Mike with BZ Cooks. Hey, so you see us right here. Hey, look, we finna get down. You read the title, so you know we doing, you know, them turkey legs, right? So look, I just seen on TV that they just canceled the LA County Fair. Hey, listen, that was one of the things that I go to the fair for to go see. Oh, I, I mean, to go get, you know what I mean? Hey, he can't just go there either. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all of that stuff is closed right now. So I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make, you know, make them on your uh, your own grill. I'm gonna be using my Lone Star vertical uh, stick burner uh, smoker, whatever you guys want to call it. Hey, but all I can tell you is, listen, it's nice and hot. I'm gonna show you the fire, and then me and Mike, we finna go ahead and season, and we gonna go from there. Now here you'll see, look, this is my brine, right? This is what the bucket that I use, and you can see that ice on top, because you know that brine got to be cold, right? So this was brined overnight, and for, listen, for the ingredients for the uh, turkey brine, I'll leave that down in the description box below. Now, here what you know, I want to show you guys the fire, right? So this is like my usual setup. This right here holds me at about 260, 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if you look at the top, that's gonna be like the hottest, right? We moving towards 275 is, and then down at the lower zone down there, it's a little bit under 250 degrees. But we gonna keep that door closed and it's gonna rise just a little bit. Now, since it was Mike and I, what we did was we set up a two-man operation, right? So what you're looking at right now, listen, as he pulls the turkey legs out of the brine, he's patting them dry. Once he pats, it, pats them dry, then he coats it because we need a binder to apply a rub, right? So he uses olive oil. And that right there, what you just see me pick up, listen, that rub right there, I'll put the ingredient list with the amounts and everything down in the description box below. You know, uh, hey, listen, that and with the olive oil on the top, you know what, it gives it like just a little bitty crispiness on the outside and it's just like, hey, I can't say enough about it. You got to try it. And then when you do, you'll see that flavor and that color deep down in the meat. Okay, so look, got everything up to temp, right? So we're going to smoke. Listen, here go the sweet spot for smoking turkey. It's 250 degrees to 275, right? So anywhere in between there, and if you can maintain that, you're going to come out with that beautiful color. Now, I'm going to go ahead, Mike, go ahead and bring me those. Let's start right here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is start putting them on like this. Now, one of the things I would tell you guys about using stick burners or any type of grill, you gotta know your hot zones. If you notice, I'm putting everything in the middle, right? Reason I'm doing that, because the top where the heat rises is gonna be the hottest, and then down lower is gonna be the coolest. So we're gonna take the rack right underneath this one and do the exact same thing. Now keep in mind, the longer you have that door open or you're, if you're using a grill, you got the top off, you know, you're losing a lot of heat. So you want to like do it expeditiously. Plan ahead on what you're going to do so that you can get in and get out and keep your heat, your temps um, where they need to. All right. So if you can see, we got two water pans down here. This has a reservoir where you can actually put water in, but it's less clean up. A lot easier to just have the pans here and then all the drippings get into there. Man. It also keeps um, your your uh, your hot zones cooler so it doesn't get so hot. All right, so let's just go ahead go ahead and close it. So we start rebuilding that heat. Get that heat up. So look, he just talked about how we're gonna lose heat, right? So go to give you an idea. Look at that. Now it's like we're starting all over. But the difference is, and I'll show you the one down here on the bottom. But the difference is, if you open this up, man dog. We got the fire, it's lit. We just actually added another another log. So we'll just wait for it to come up to temp. Then we're gonna set a timer and we're gonna do these for about four hours. All right, y'all, look, it's been an hour, excuse me, it's been four hours, 15 minutes. I've already temped them. Listen, six of them temped at 181. And then the one on the very, very outside, because look, the smoke box is over here. This is where the fire box is. And over here is where you get the hottest as it pulls out of the chimney, right? So over here, these had, uh, did went up to 190. But it took four hours, 15 minutes. I'll show you guys. Here we go. Let me get my rag. I'll just pull them out. Man, you can see the color on them. Hey, actually they form like a little bark on the outside. That's because of the seasoning I was using. Now, let me go ahead. I'm gonna put them in uh, some foil. And look, we finna go ahead and let one of these cool and we finna take a bite. Okay, everybody, look, so check it out. You seen us, we just took them out, right? Uh, listen, the heat, the fire stayed about what? I say between 250, 275-ish, you know, throughout the whole four hours and 15 minutes. All uh, right, this right here, this was like my own little makeup of a rub or whatever. And you can see it got like a little texture. So listen, Mad Dog said he wanted to be the first one to go ahead and knock it out. 
Hey, hey, so, hey, go ahead and just hit that one in. Anyone, man, pick anyone. But that's my vote. That's my vote, though. Well, you eat that That's your vote. Oh, and I got to say this, too. I don't know if we said this in the very beginning, but these two right here had, like, a different rub on there. You know what I mean? We just wanted to, like, check it out. So, if you want to take it, you want to, uh, hey, do your thing, man. For science. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. mmm. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys, look. Check it out. I just cut me a piece. We can't be sharing it. You guys know what's happening out here. Hey, so look, there you go. I hope you guys can see it. Let me get like this. So maybe you guys can uh, focus, so it'll focus on that. You can see, look at that color. You see the smoke all the way throughout. And then I really want to try, you know, this rub that he brought. After showing it to you, you know what I mean? I don't want to pick up his because he's been like chewing, chowing down on, on it, right? Hey, all I can tell you is just by looking at it, you can see the color from the smoke, you know, penetrated deep. Hey, and the beauty of you guys making it now is what you can do is, listen, it might sound strange because we always put everything in the, uh, we put it in some type of Ziploc, right? But I'm going to say these be best. Listen to this. Wrap them up in foil, get them nice and tight, put them in the freezer. And then when this holiday come, when this season come, you know what I mean? When we start talking about making that, you know, collard greens and beans and all of that, and you need some smoked meat. Boom, you got it. Hey, and it heats up very well. Hey, so with that being said, mm. I can tell you this, I can hear him. All he doing is just, mm, and do it. <laughs> hey, hold that up and show everybody. Look at that. Oh, man, I can clean this up. Hey, look at that. Man. Yeah. This is actually better than the ones at, uh, <laughs> at Carnival and at Disneyland, because they don't put the seasoning on there. I don't know what kind of seasoning they put, but it ain't this. Hey, but you know what I think it is? It's all in their brine. I oh. think that's what the color is. But look, I was saying that same thing. Like, look, putting that uh, seasoning on here, hey, it almost put like a little bark. Hey, it's like a half fry type. Hey, I don't want to over talk it. You guys know. You All you got to do is, <laughs> yeah, just try this, you guys, and let us know down in the comment section below. Myself, AB, and Big Mike with BZ Cooks. Hey, you know. hey, I keep telling you guys, mad dog. <laughs> hey, and with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you've been watching me for a minute, you know how I'm about to wrap this up. I'm out of here. Peace. Peace.